Now to catch up on the goss, and it is great as always to have you here, Cedar. Thank you so much for joining us. Lovely to be here. Lovely. You're looking pretty in pink. So are you. Mike didn't get the memo. No, I am wearing pink undies, so I'll show you later. Oh. You can prove it now. Thanks. <laughs> it's okay. No, let's do that later. <laughs> I, I love your cover today because you've got Prince Harry, one of my favourite royals on the cover. Oh, well, he's definitely one of my top three. Who's your favourite? He is my favourite as well. Oh. I just think he's cool and he's got no pressure on him. And you know. so hot. So he just gets to live his life. You reckon he's that. hot? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think he's really hot. Yeah, well, I funny enough, him. I had another shot of Harry on the cover, and he, but he was without the beard, and some of the girls came into the office and they went, it's the beard that makes him so hot. Yeah, it is the stubble, mm. and it's also his relationship with children as well. Yes, he's a, he, he is so ready to have kids, so there's a, little, a special little girl in his life, and it, it is Princess Charlotte. He, uh, of course, they're both spare ears. Um, <laughs> spare ears? <laughs> That's a nice way to put it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and he's already decided, oh, Prince Harry, yeah. that he would like a, yes, a special bond. He wants to be a bit of a spiritual guide for little Princess Charlotte. <laughs> Would you oh, be no. recommending that? <laughs> Who's well, your spiritual guide? Prince well, Harry. Uncle Prin Harry. Pr Prince Andrew was the same with Prince Charles, you know, and he did that for Harry, you know. So it's an interesting position when you have all the perks of being a royal, but you're not necessarily the next um, reigning monarch. Yeah, so. but you think about Prince Andrew's behaviour, and True. he was the spiritual guide for Prince Harry. Really <laughs> let's, yeah, let's think about that one. Charlotte is going to be a very good time girl, obviously. Anyway, he no. actually did a rare interview last week in which um, Harry talked about how much he desperately wants kids. He's 31. He actually thought he'd be married with kids by now. Oh. I think we need to have a campaign to marry Harry. Hashtag marry Harry. Yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> um, but uh, also on the royal front, those photos of little Charlotte who turned one oh, last yeah. week. How cute were those? They adorable. Are adorable. So once again, Kate took the photos. Duchess Kate, who are obviously a very talented mother. Um, yep, and we've all clucked over those gorgeous uh, pictures. But uh, baby news on that royal front is that apparently Duchess Kate is already ready for baby number three. She's no. made no secret of the fact she wants uh, three little kitty kitties like her family. She had yeah. obviously James and Pippa, very close um, siblings, and she wants them to be close together in age. And so she wanted three by 35. She's 34, just saying. <laughs> Good timing, well, probably. I guess, time, yeah. I guess she's got help, though, so that would make a big difference. So well, good, good yeah. luck to her, I say. Yeah. Um, moving on to something that Mike is pretty familiar about, oh. and it's quite a big night for you, really, isn't it? Well, yes. Ahead. Yes, it is. It is the final of The Bachelor tonight. Who is going to win? Is it going to be Naz, or is it going to be Fleur? So Jordan has made his final decision. We find out tonight. Nice tease, OK. I was just going to ask you that. Who <laughs> <I> won? <wonder. laughs> He's not telling me. I've been trying to get oh. out of him all week, and he said nothing. Well, we have all sorts of secrets from the behind the scenes on The Bachelor in the magazine this week. Lots of juicy secrets from the set. And I have to say, you were absolutely hopeless at coming up with any gossip for me. I know. Next you know, year, we're going to have to work on that. Yeah, no, um, I'll try and keep, I try and keep a lot of secrets. But it's interesting because you, you have a, had a lot to do with these girls. Yeah. How do you separate the two? Is there a personality difference between Fleur and Naz? Oh, huge. But they've both been two to wear their hearts on their sleeves, mm. haven't they? They've been incredibly open. OK, well, that's, that's good, I guess. I, they have been open, haven't they? I, I, I've just noticed, <laughs> no, I'll just say, oh, that sounds bad, doesn't it? Some of them, I've noticed, as they've come off the show, they've been like, yeah, just we just didn't gel. Yeah. And they didn't seem too worried about coming but off the show. these two have both got it bad, right? Yeah, they, and look, it's anyone's game, I think. Yeah, 50-50 so. chance. Yeah, 50-50 okay. chance. That's tonight. <laughs> Don't miss it. 7.30, TV3. Nice, yeah. Clyde. Good luck to them. We'll find out tomorrow exactly who's won. Yeah. Oh, won't we, Mike? Yeah, you, we will. you might tell me a little bit earlier on. Yeah, uh, even later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, just give me a call. A ring uh, that brings us to the next reality TV show that's just been launched. Yeah. I keep saying desperate, but the Real Housewives of Auckland. Exciting! So Mike and I were both at the launch last week. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? For yeah, well, Bravo. It was a big do. And I looked around the ladies that we've got. I recognised a couple of faces. What do you make of the cast? Fantastic. So excited. I think I love the thing I love about the show is they're not after the fortune. They're after a little bit of fame. So I think they're going to be really um, exciting, fun, not take it too seriously. I think it's going to be great entertainment. So do you know who the line-up line is? you want to know? Yeah, I know who Should they we are. Oh. And they, well, we know who they are. They are Gilda Kirkpatrick, she's, uh, she's one of the main ones, isn't she? They're on screen now. Oh, yeah. There. Louise, uh, Louise Wallace, Wallace is probably the most familiar face yeah, uh, to most TV viewers. And who's the model? Uh, Michelle Blanchard. Right. So she's from the UK and fell in love with the Kiwi. Nice. She's really beautiful, isn't she? Very nice car. I just don't know. I'm going to watch it. I, I kind of roll my eyes, but I know that I will watch it as well. Oh, I think it's going to be fantastic. And yeah. at the launch also uh, was Ramona Singer from the New York uh, Real Housewives oh, yeah. of New York. And she was straight from Man Manhattan and had been joined Waiheke and uh, she was cool. She gave me wow. all sorts of tips like, dude, this was my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. She was really cool. Thank so. you very much, Cedar. You can find out more about that and the latest issue of Woman's Day.